Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Sims 4 speed build. I'm Sarah and today we are going to be building the barns from the TV show Yellowstone. And I actually had to start building this the day before the new pack came out. So right now we're building a new crest, I believe. And this is a 40 by 30 lot, which honestly, it doesn't really feel like that in the end of this build. It feels pretty small, but I think that's just because so much of it is made up of the little horse area and so it's on the outside of the build so it just kind of makes the barn seem a little small also i was in a massive hurry to get this speed build done so it is not as decorated as i usually would decorate a build but to be fair the actual barns from the show they're they're kind of plain there's not a lot going on around them i don't know how well that translates into the sims though I mean, I think the barns in the show are absolutely beautiful and I really like them and so that's why I wanted to build them, but I don't know how much of the empty spaces look good in the game and so hopefully you guys still enjoy this, but it's a little bit sparse for my building style and then the interior is very much not my typical building style because I was in a hurry, like I said. so. I didn't get to clutter it up as much as I wanted to, but the first thing that we're doing right now is building the Yellowstone symbol, the little Y symbol that you see on the barns. And I'm doing that with the tool mod, of course, which is one of the reasons we're building a new crest because I knew I was going to have to start building this part of it before the new pack came out because I was pretty sure the tool mod would break. And I think it did. I didn't actually check because I had already gotten this done, but I'm pretty sure that it does break with the new worlds and stuff so anyway i decided to go on and start early and build the structures of the barns i just went with two there's more than that in the show but i felt like it'd be a little bit excessive and i didn't want to do a build on the big 64 by 64 lot so i just went with two of them and one of them is just completely a barn and i put a nectar station up on the top and then the other one has a barn on the bottom and a little bit of a living area on the top and i really 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 wanted to make one of the barns into the bunk house from the show but i quickly realized that i was not going to have time to do that and so the living area is just a simple run-of-the-mill living area it's not got anything to do with the show and also the insides of the barns is also just kind of me winging it because I didn't actually look up any reference photos from inside the barn and so that's just kind of me winging it throwing in a few horse stables and stuff like that so the insides of the barns they're just they're not really um, anything special it's just kind of decorated and it's a good space for your horses so that's all that that is. But I did feel like the exterior of the build was what I was the most excited to do. And so hopefully you guys will enjoy that because that's the part that I tried to make a little bit more correct as far as the reference photos and stuff go. I think there are some areas that don't match up with the reference photos, but I did the best I could and hopefully it turns out okay in your guys' opinion as well. But anyway, we have now moved on into Chestnut Ridge, which I have been thinking was actually called the new Appaloosa. That's what I've thought it was called. I don't know how I missed that. I watched the live stream and everything, but somehow I did not realize what the name of this world was until today. So um, yeah, we are in the new world of Chestnut Ridge and this lot is the one that has that big massive horse stone archway thing behind it that we saw from the trailer. I think I'm pretty sure it was in the trailer. So this lot is stunning and it looks really nice. The lighting is really good and yeah, it was just, it's a, it's a really pretty world, I feel like. I don't know if you guys have the new pack. Let me know in the comments if you do, if you are enjoying it or what your thoughts are. But so far, I think it's really pretty. Now, I have spent a, probably about two, three hours, maybe two and a half hours building this and that doesn't actually count how much time I spent working on the symbol before that but today I've spent about two and a half hours with the new pack and so far I really like it but I don't feel like I have explored it very well. I love the barn doors but of course I knew I was gonna love the barn doors because I really wanted them but so far I feel like a lot of the build and buy stuff is really pretty and it's just really nice and so far I really like it but let me know what you guys think and I definitely will have some more builds coming 
but it might actually be a couple days before I can get any other builds out because I definitely felt like I was rushing with this one. But we pretty much have the barns done at this point as far as the structure goes. So now I just want to make the little... I'm trying to think of what it's called and I really should know what it, this is called and I can't think of it. But the little area that the horse can hang out with. I, I don't want to say pasture. I feel like that's wrong. Horse pen. I'm going to go with that again. I think that's what I said in my last speed build. But I'm building the little area for the horse and I'm going to put some barrels up there. And um, I think that's what I ended up going with a barrel and then the little ball thing that your horse can play with. And while I was waiting for the lighting to change so that I could get the screenshots for this build, the little towny family that lives here, and I didn't look at their name, that's how much of a rush I was in. I don't even know who lives here, but the, that little family had a little full horse. They had a little baby horse. And at some point while I was waiting, I noticed that it wandered out into this little area and started playing with that little ball. And that interaction was so cute. I have to say, I thought it was adorable. And that's our little horse pen area. And they, when they run around the barrels, they just run around one. So if you guys get this off the gallery, you may want to change that. I was kind of thinking about how most of those little horse races or barrel races, they have the three barrels. And so I was wanting to do something like that, but it doesn't really work out very well in the game or haven't figured out how to do that yet. And I was building without tool or better build by, and I was completely out of my element. To be honest, I haven't built without tool for so long. And yeah, I was struggling a little bit, but especially with the debug stuff, because I had actually forgotten that you can't copy like you know when you play stuff and you hold the shift key down and then it just copies it and you don't have to keep clicking it on the menu? It just kind of reselects it for you and you can keep placing items. Well, with the tool mod and the better build by mod, you can actually do that with debug and live edit. And I had forgotten that you can't actually do that without the mods. And it was a bit of a pain when I realized that and I had to go back through the debug menu and find the stuff that I had pulled out. So yeah, that was a little bit different. I'm not used to building without tool. I definitely missed it and I'm sure by next week I'll have it back in the game and um, we'll be back to normal building. But it definitely took a minute. But as you guys can see, the outside of the build is pretty bare. There's not a lot going on there, not a lot to it. But I was really bothered by it at first and then I kind of tried to remind myself that that is how the actual area looks. So I added more decoration than the show actually has around those barns, if you guys have never seen it. There's not really any trees at all in that area in the show, and there isn't a whole lot of like clutter and grass and stuff like that. But like I was talking about earlier, sometimes in The Sims, the big open spaces don't look as nice as they do in reality. And so I felt like I still needed to add a little bit to it. So I did add some grasses and stuff. Pretty much everything I added was from the debug live edit menu from the horse ranch pack. So pretty much everything was specific to the pack. I think there was one tree in the back of the build that was actually from the base game live edit menu. But other than that, I feel like everything came from the new pack on the outside of it. I do use some other packs, of course, in the interiors and then like I had mentioned, the actual Yellowstone symbol is made from a spa day item. So if you wanted to get this and you actually wanted it to have that look about it, then you would have to have the spa day pack because that is what the little symbol is made out of. It's a spa day object. And I think there's a roof piece from Get Together. But other than that, I think that the main structure of the build will stay pretty much the same if you have Horse Ranch, Spa Day, and then that little object from Get Together, which honestly, it wouldn't make that big of a difference. If you didn't have the pack, you're probably not gonna notice that. But that pretty much made up the exterior of the build. So I feel like that was pretty limited and I was kind of proud of it. But this little interior, like I said, originally I was gonna go for the bunkhouse vibes, but I did not have time. So this interior is just a really, really quick, super simple interior, just using some of the new items. I wanted to explore the new pack as quickly as I could while I was having to build this. So there's one bathroom, there's one bedroom with a double bed, there's a kitchen. It's a pretty good sized little kitchen. And then I didn't actually include a living area. I threw in a little chair and one of the new guitars and the upright piano that we got with the new pack. I threw in some music stuff over there because it was a small area and I had already used a pretty big TV in the bedroom. So I felt like a living area just wasn't really necessary. 
So mainly this area is just the kitchen and it's simple. And I also have not actually had a chance to play test this build. I won't have it on the gallery until next week because there is no way that I will be able to get everything done and get it uploaded before then. But hopefully I'll have it on the gallery soon if you guys are interested in it. But I haven't had a chance to play test this. I don't think I'm going to run into any problems because it's not very cluttered like I was mentioning. It's just not really a cluttered build so I feel like functionality is going to be pretty easy. I'm not really too worried about it. My little horse, the little foal that I was talking about that was playing with the little horse ball toy. I don't know what that's called other than that, but he did get stuck while he was playing with that. And I'm assuming that's just a glitch because once I reset him and he was kind of standing beside it, he was able to move on and do what he wanted to do. So I think that that was just a glitch with the new pack. So hopefully that's nothing that has anything to do with the build. But that's pretty much it for today's build. It's really simple and really fast, but I do hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think down below in the comments because I always love hearing from you guys. And I hope you all are doing really, really well. As always, thanks so much for hanging out with me today during the speed build. And I will talk to you guys soon with another one.